This video is brought to you by Squarespace. See, I recognized early on in life that life ain't just about the decisions that we make. You know what I'm saying? I'm a high school dropout. It took me 12 years to get a four-year degree. I was homeless, eating out of trash cans, living in abandoned buildings in the D. If you don't become who you're supposed to come, like people gonna hurt. Like if I didn't hit the reset button in life, who knows where the team would be like. There's something inside you. And so this is why we do what we do. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get the right information and then we're gonna get narrow focus and boom, we're gonna go for it. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That's it. I haven't reached the highest height, the Nobel Prize, and what's next? What you getting ready for? What's next? What's next for you? Many of you will not be successful because you've got this giant goal and no steps to go with it. You're just in your mind like, girl, this is my year. How many steps? I don't know. Like, what is it going to take for you to do it? I don't know. If some of y'all, you got some homeboys you connected with, but you know they ain't really living how you supposed to be living and they leading you down the wrong way, you know if I remove myself from it, if I plug in with positive people, I can make it. Listen, I want for you what we experiencing. And some of you, you so cocky, you so arrogant. People have been wiping your butt for the longest. You think you deeper than what you are and you about to lose this doggone opportunity. And let me tell you something, I don't care how deep you think you are, get hurt and find out you are replaceable. You are replaceable. And if you don't think you are, you make some phone calls and find out. I know you suffering. I know you hurting on the inside. You wondering why. Like, why this gotta happen to me? Why I got experiences? Why this person had to take advantage of me? I promise you, you are turning into a warrior. Because the stuff that you're going through, the stuff that you have to experience, what don't kill you makes you stronger. If you look at the cat that goes to the gym and he lift the weights and he pumping iron, if you ask homeboy, hey bro, how you get so big, they gonna tell you, it took a whole lot of time and they had to go through a whole lot of pain. And life is gonna grow you. Listen to me right now, life's gonna grow you. It is not gonna be easy, it is going to be painful, it is going to be frustrating, you gonna shed some tears, you probably gonna spill some blood, it's gonna hurt, but you gotta keep pushing. Never let yourself be the victim. If I could go back in time and have a conversation with my eight to 10 year old self, that would be the message I would give. Because when you think about it, you're a kid, things don't go your way, what do you do? You cry, you whine, you throw a fit, you want your parents to feel sorry for you. You feel sorry for yourself. It's how, how you deal with things at that age. And then you grow up, but you don't necessarily shed that habit, that mentality. And it becomes obvious, right? I mean, you can talk to someone for 30 seconds and you know right away if they have that victim mentality. The world's falling down, they're tired, they have so much to do, they're so busy, X, Y, and Z. Look, having that mindset does two things for you. One, it makes you come across helpless and weak and no one wants to come across that way. Two, it does not get you to where you're going. It does not change the situation, right? Here's the reality. There is always a way to get what you want. There is always a way to position yourself to move away from what you don't want. You can quite literally become what you want to become, but you cannot look at life like it's this problem, like it's against you. The ball is in your court. You know, it wasn't that long ago, two, three years ago, that I was not the happiest guy in the world, right? Did not like what I was doing, did not like how I was spending my time, was not energized, was not passionate about very much. But the time came where I didn't want to live like that. I had a conversation with myself. I stopped being the victim, I stopped complaining, and I asked myself, dude, what do you want? What is your purpose? What is your goal? Who do you want to become? And I literally made the decision and walked away a different person. And the things around me changed, my life changed. 
because I made a decision to never be the victim again, to get what I want. I became the author of my own story. And you realize just how simple it is to transform your situation. Not easy, right? And it takes time. But there's always a way to get from point A to point B. And this separates the world into two kinds of people. People who look at how things are, who accept reality as truth, who complain, and people who look at what can be, who make the most of any situation, look at life as if it's clay, to be molded, to be shaped. It seems funny to me, knowing what I do now, that I went through any of my life like a hamster on a wheel. That I talked to people every day who didn't energize me, that I didn't want to be around, that I did things I wasn't passionate about. That is insanity. Because if you don't like something, but you do nothing to change it, what's left for you to do? Complain, whine, stay where you are, that's it. See, one of the reasons I reference athletics so much is because they bring this mentality on you that when things become difficult, when things become challenging, your job, your one job is to find a way to figure it out. And I always did. And I took that and I brought it to everything else I do. And now it's eye-opening to see people achieving success, financial freedom, these things everyone wants and know that the difference between them and everyone else is that they felt like they deserved it. A lot of the time they weren't smarter, stronger, they weren't more gifted starting out, but they moved toward what they wanted. They didn't cry or groan about the problems, they didn't look for sympathy. Those at the top of the mountain are not victims. They would never let themselves be victims. It's about the other side, the opportunity. Getting from where you are to what you want. This video is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and social media integration to domains and more, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to build your beautiful online presence and run your business. Choose from over a hundred different templates that you can customize to fit your needs. Every design automatically includes a unique mobile experience that matches the overall style of your website, so your content will always look great on every device, every time. Create a community with comments, replies, likes, and use their powerful blogging tools to categorize, share, and schedule your posts too. With the new members area, you can promote premium content, manage your paid content, and build your community. Go to squarespace.com to start your free trial and enter code motivation to study to save 10% on your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash motivation to study.